Stay in place. Nope. Nope. Welcome back. Um, it's been a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, more like a couple months since I've really worked on this thing because we've been so busy trying to get that thing over there ready for Drag Week and LS Fest. So, finally getting back on it. What I need to do next, or what I would like to do next, is I want to get the front fenders and the hood mocked up again so I can finalize exactly where they're going to be. Um, we had it mocked up before, kind of along here, but this got kind of broken in transport and I've already bent it back to where it should be I think but I need to obviously put the fender on it and double check and then obviously the hood too so I'm gonna be doing that now figure out how to attach up there since you can't rest it on the tire anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, put a tab out there, I guess, that comes out to where that first bolt hole is, maybe. Gives you a resting point. And, I mean, are you going to put some kind of a flat bar or, or box tubing across there to, to bolt this to anyway? Maybe. Not really? Where's the other fender? Oh, duh, it's the big fender with the metal on it. Yeah. Duh, I took it upstairs last night. Yeah. All right. Uh, how much does it go over? Let's we'll see. All right, it's center of the bolt right there. Hmm, yeah, that's right. 49? Yeah, so it just needs to shift that way. Yeah, this whole thing needs to shift this way. It just probably got bent on the way home. Yeah. What are you measuring? What is the measurements from this, from the frame to this? About nine and a half. Is it off a quarter inch? So that was nine and three quarters, this is nine and a quarter. Oh, off by half inch, okay. Kind of bounces back. <laughs> I can't tell if you're moving it or not. You can just about ratchet strap it over. That's not gonna do anything.
right now that is nine, that is eight and a half. No. So we're not quite seven, but we'll try it. Okay. Yeah, well, let's get the hood up there and we'll know for sure. Yep. Wow, is it just barely on there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're taking the tire off because it interferes with our good fender that we, in this case, do not want to cut up because Oops, that's sorry. a. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, hit me the backside. Anyway, uh, we don't want to cut that one out because that's a good rust-free fender. So, we'll sacrifice a lot for this build, but rust-free fenders are hard to come by. Do you want to weld up those tabs at all to hold that in place? Or are you... Yet. Not that concerned yet. Okay. So I'll hand this to you uh, here. Okay. There you go. Know that we're going to line up. Now. At this point, you want it exactly where that one inch bar is going to be. And I don't know what, I'm just guesstimating that one inch bar. Do you want a, that one inch bar sitting on top here so you know that this thing is sitting perfectly level? No. Against the bottom of the fender? Oh, level? Yeah, it'd be off level. Well, I don't know what you mean. Well, it just needs to be lined up with the. With the hole? Not with the hole. It needs to line up, lined up somewhere here. It is, but I don't know if that's exactly one inch. If you put that one inch bar horizontally across there, is it going to meet up with the bottom of that fender or not? Don't you want to at least block up a small little section, cross section on top of here? Or go ahead and weld that piece. I don't know, weld on there, but at least yeah. mock it up. Not really, because it, as long as you do more than one inch, we're fine. So you can just put spacers or whatever on Yeah. Okay, all right. Just wanted to ask for you permanently welded it on there. All right, you get your spot down below then. I'll hold it approximately one inch here, which that's about one inch. That's pretty good right there. Okay, packing. Okay. All right, letting go. Take a look. All right. He, he said I was, I asked him if I was close. He said I was very close. Yep. Because there's the one inch bar sitting right on top there, which yeah, is what perfect. I use my eye meter for. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, you call my work perfect? Shut up. <laughs> Check it out, folks. Perfect. about where you want to be, right? Yep. Okay. I know it's good, I think. You got to permanently weld it then? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got a bar welded up or tacked up now to where the top of the fender on the rear can sit. Originally, we had these little tabs. You kind of see over there. The tabs that we were going to weld to the fenders, but since I'm not sure if I'm going to be using metal or fiberglass fenders, just went ahead and made a bar. And we're going to replicate what we did up front. Drill a couple holes in here that are kind of big and adjustable. And we can set the fender on top of this. Stay in place. Nope. <laughs> Answer that question. So that fact didn't have to do with it. Okay. It's sitting on it. Okay. I could probably help you hold it too instead of holding a camera.
crappy drill. What do you say? <laughs> you know what the word is, the phrase is. That ain't going nowhere. Nathaniel got that other mount on there. Mm -hmm. And the goal for the night really was just to get these two mocked up so we could put a hood on here and yes. see how everything lines up. Yep. So now. Nope. I <laughs> yeah. I think it'll work. It might. It might not. I don't know. There's a 75% chance maybe. Yeah. 80. I'll give it 50. 50? Oh, I'm more confident it, than that. It either works or it doesn't, so it's 50. Well, the, yeah, okay. You want to try to lift the hood with one hand? I'm going to try. Okay. Here we go. And tilt it back. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, go your way a little bit. Yeah. Pimps a hand. Okay. Oh. Uh, we got an alignment issue. One side's got to come out. Yeah. But. I think that's just up front. Yeah, it just pinches the front a little bit, so it's got to come out. Yeah. But that's Probably pretty cool. Uh, or. The whole thing goes to the side. Definitely. How's it going? Actually, pretty good. Hey, it's good over here, too. Wait. How, well, how did that magically happen? I I, the line, was, I that's was, lined up? I think it was cockeyed. It was, yeah. Now, we know the alternator is hitting right here, so it's kind of pivoting on that. So it's not going to... That's what, Oh, that's why it's getting cockeyed. It's sitting on that alternator. That's a little bit too high. That right there is the center. Yeah, which it's adjustable. It will. Dude. That's not bad. Wow. I dare say. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a success. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. you built it to be adjustable. Yeah. So. so all can be moved a little bit. Yeah, we got bolts on there. They're the wrong size. They're not really tight either, so it's not being held tightly. But where are all the mounting points that I made? Should work. Yeah, yeah. It actually holds the fender, at least on the top. Yeah, we, we know that gets. So. a way to hold these at the bottom. Right, I'll yeah. I'll probably hold off until I get the fiberglass ones. Right, which they don't know about yet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> We'll tell you about that later. Anyway, the other thing that we've got to do is you got to devise yeah. some sort of a I gotta get hood hinge. Yeah, hood hinge. Though. So I think there will be some kind of external one probably come out here. Yeah. NASCAR style. I, yeah, there's not going to be a lot of room underneath. No. More bars and stuff. No, there's nothing so to mount to. It'll probably be... <laughs> probably Oh, yeah, you can just use those. 
Tab there. Tab there. <laughs> no joke. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay. Yeah, we're not looking for perfect on this. We're looking for functional. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's an old tired race car, right? It's, it's got to look like an old tired race car. Yeah, classic. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. Yep. That's uh, that's proof of concept number one. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to call that an end to this episode and uh, head in for the night. Yep. Good next, job, buddy. Next week, I'll probably. Uh, do the hood and after that who knows but well one thing's for sure is we got to take that alternator off of there if you want to permanently mount all this to where it needs to be we got to get that alternator out of the way so the hood will go all the way down or we can take the engine out i like your thinking we're already there so yeah yeah so to be determined but for now Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you very much. Take care. Tell everybody, welcome back from say hey or some kind of greeting, but otherwise. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>